multiplying and dividing integers. Let's start with a basic problem, 3 times 2. 3 positives times 2 positives. What does that mean? 3 groups of positive 2. So what we're going to do is I'm going to draw one group of two positives, two groups of two positives, three groups of two positives. So three groups of two positives is positive six. All right, what if I now said three times negative two? What does that mean? That is three groups of negative two. Two. So I could draw two negatives, another group of two negatives. So now I have one, two, three groups of negative two. So three groups of negative two is negative six. What if I then reversed it and I said negative two times three? That is negative two groups of positive three. Can you have negative two groups of something? No. So really what this means is negative, negative two groups of three means the opposite. Negative two groups of three is the same thing as two groups of negative three. Since you cannot have negative two groups of something, you're going to do the opposite. So two groups of negative three. So I've got negative 3, there's one group, there's another group. Alright, so notice that we have a positive number times a positive number that equals a positive number. We have a positive number times a negative number and that is a negative number. Now we have a negative number times a positive number and that is a I didn't write that down. That is a negative number. Um, I'm talking about negative times a positive is a negative. All right, now let's look at one more. What if I now had negative 2 times negative 3? What does that mean? Negative 2 groups of negative 3 I can't have negative two groups of anything, and I especially can't have negative two groups of negative three. So we're going to have to, again, do the opposite. Instead of negative two groups, we're going to have two groups of the opposite of three. So we're going to have two groups of three. And what is two groups of three? Again, is six. So now, Again, we had a negative number times a negative number, and we got a positive number. Let's try uh, a, couple of, a couple more. Let's try 4 times 5. 4 groups of 5 is 20. What about 4 groups of negative 5? 4 times negative 5. What is that going to be? Four groups of negative five means that you have 20 negatives. All right, let's do negative four times positive five. You can't have negative four groups of anything, but we can have four groups of negative five. So that's negative 20. And what about negative four times negative five? Can't have negative four groups of anything, so we're going to do the opposite of negative four times negative five, and we're just going to do four times five, which is 20. So just to uh, summarize, we had a positive times a positive, and that gave us a positive. A positive times a negative, and that gave us a negative. A negative times a positive gave us a negative, and a negative times a negative gave us a positive. So just to summarize, when you are multiplying integers, when you have a positive times a positive and a negative and a negative times a negative, those both give you a positive. When you have a positive times a negative and a negative times a positive, 
those give you negatives. So if you'll notice, when you have the same sign, your answer is positive. When you have different signs, your answer is negative. You might want to write that down. When you have the same sign, your answer is positive. When you have different signs, your answer is negative. And then, guess what? When you are dividing integers, you have the same rules. A positive times a positive is a positive. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. So when your signs are the same, your answer is positive. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. By the way, also, this symbol right here is divided by. So when you see these lines, I mean divided by. Alright, now I want you to write down your summary, three to four sentences, and then I want you to write down any questions that you might still have about the concepts in the video.